Okay, I'd like to tell you about satellites when they're um, orbiting in circular orbits. Um, before we get started, let me tell you, a satellite can be a satellite like a communication satellite that orbits the Earth. Um, satellites can, the, the, the moon is a, a natural satellite around the, around the Earth. Uh, the Earth is actually a satellite around the sun. And so it goes, there's, you know, all these things that are orbiting and um, some of them are in very, very close to circular orbit. So let's talk about the easiest type of orbit. That's a circular orbit. And let's just, uh, what we're going to find is, um, how does the, it's a put something in orbit around a, a planet. Um, what velocity do you need to, to get it to go in a perfect circle? Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, to go in a perfect circle, Now, I'm not going to draw a perfect circle. I'm going to try, but... Oh, that's pretty good. Boy, that's really good. And, um... So there it is, out there, a distance R away. And, um, if we draw the force diagram of the satellite, um, there's just... We're going to say there's one force on it. You might say, well, isn't the moon pulling at it and the sun and all those others... Uh, we're going to ignore all that, all those effects, and we're just going to say that there's only one force on this satellite as it moves along um, in its circular path around the Earth. Okay, so or maybe I'll just call this the mass of the planet. Okay, if that's the only force, then let's apply Newton's second law. So A equals F net over M. Again, that being the only force. Um, I'm going to say that, this, and it's a circle, this going in a circle, so A is V squared over R. Uh, where this is R, not the radius of the planet, but the whole thing. Uh, let me make this a capital R. Okay, that's equal to the, to the net force. Well, that would be G, mass of the planet, mass of the satellite, all over um, the distance between them squared. That's the force divided by the mass of the satellite. Why the satellite? Because um, A of the satellite equals F net on the satellite divided by the mass of the satellite. So satellite, satellite, satellite. This is the velocity of the satellite. This is how far, this is the radius of the circle of the satellite. Okay, we can cancel out of the mass of the satellite then. Um, we can cancel out one of these R's. And we're left with that um, V is equal to G times the mass of the planet all over R. Square root it. So this is the velocity that you need. This is the orbital velocity you need for a circular, mo for a circular orbit. Um, don't memorize this. It's so easy to derive that we're not going to memorize this. But this is the speed you need for a circular orbit. Speed. This is the necessary speed for circular orbit. Okay. Well, um, a lot of times uh, we want to talk about the period of a satellite as opposed to its speed. And so let's see how that relates. So um, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say, uh, if we want to talk about the period of a satellite, then again, uh, let's start off with um, A equals F naught over M. So V squared over R is equal to the net force, mass of the planet, mass of the satellite, all over the distance between them squared divided by the mass of the satellite. A of the satellite equals the net force on the satellite divided by the mass of the satellite. Let's get rid of a mass of the satellite. Let's get rid of one of the R's. Now for V, V is um, it, when you go in a circle, it's delta X over delta T 
let, let's talk about speed. So it's distance divided by time, let's say. Distance divided by time. And so that's 2 pi r. That's one time around. That's the distance divided by the time to go one time around, which we're going to call the period. So t is the period. The time for one rot one um, revolution around the around the orbit. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to take and put that into this equation. So that's going to give me when I square it, it's going to give me four pi squared r squared all over t squared is equal to g mass of the planet all over r. Solving for the period then, if I go ahead and solve for that, maybe I'll bring that here and bring all this over there. It looks like the period is going to equal, when I bring this up here, it's going to be 4 pi squared r cubed all over g mass of the planet. And then uh, that should be squared, but I'm going to take the square root of this. And so this right here is the period of a satellite. Again, we're not going to memorize that. We don't want to, by the time we get done with this unit, we don't want to have 25 different equations. We want to see how they all fit together. I mean, that's the beauty of physics. Is Well, that's one of the beauties of physics, at least, is how it, it all fits so nicely together. You can get so far with so little. A few equations and, a, and a, a little bit of thinking, and you can do all sorts of things. All right, so that is the period of a that is the period of a satellite. Uh, just a couple more things about this. I want you to notice something. So if it is going in a circle, so here is the planet, and here is the orbit. I want you to see something here. There's the satellite moving along. Um, I want you to see that the force of gravity is this way. And the little displacement dr, I'll make it, it's much smaller than that, but I'll make it so that you can see it, is that way. And so the work done on this satellite for any given little bit, uh, well, it's going to be a bunch of adding up, you're going to add up f dot dr a bunch of times. But what I'm, I want you to see is f dot dr, in this case, since they are at right angles, whenever you, you do the dot product, you find the part of f that's parallel to dr. Well, how much of this f is parallel to dr? The answer is none. The force of gravity dot dr is zero. And so there's no work done. Work done by the force of gravity is equal to zero. And since that's the net force, the work done by the net force is equal to zero. And that's why there's no change in kinetic energy. Therefore, the change in kinetic energy is equal to zero. All right, that's all I got for you there. See you in the next one.